Pokemon can learn moves through all sorts of methods, like leveling up, move tutors, and breeding. But what would happen if I eliminated all of these moves, and instead forced my Pokemon to only learn moves another way? TMs and HMs. These special items allow you to teach a specific move to a Pokemon, and in Pokemon Emerald, each TM can only be used once. So, I need to be very strategic about the TMs I use. To make things much more difficult, I added a bunch of hardcore rules to this challenge. Can I collect all 58 TMs and HMs and use them to defeat the Emerald Pokemon League? Let's find out. As we kick this challenge off, I'm reminded that in Pokemon, TMs and HMs look like CDs. Remember CDs? So when I teach Pokemon TMs, it's kind of like they're learning songs, which makes them music artists. And if I have a roster of artists, that makes me a producer. And by God, I will find the pop star to take me to the top of the charts. All right, what's my name? How about Megastar producer and headphone guru Dr. Dre? No, no, I need this to be a bit more me. There we go. I hop off the bus to find our first stop on the tour, Little Root Town. This awful place seems to be infested by feral animals, but I help out Professor Birch by selecting Trico as my starter. Birch lets me sign him to my label, even though this grassy guy is an industry plant. My first signing is rapper Treak Mill. If you have clever Pokemon music names, post them in the comments below. I'll pin my favorite one. Also, double check that you're subscribed to the channel. It's completely free and helps me out a lot. There are no TMs or HMs available at the beginning of the game, so Trico is allowed to use her level up moves for now. After defeating Brendan, Birch gives us the Pokedex. The Pokedex makes a record? Uh, making records is kinda my job, bro. The next stop on the tour is Petalburg City, so while I'm here, I visit my dad. I guess you're going to become a trainer like me. No, dad. I don't want to be like you. I'm going to pursue my art. Uh, who the hell is this guy? He wants to be a producer too? Listen, kid, I don't think you've got what it takes. Oh my god, he signed Ariana Garde. Through Petalburg Woods, we find our first TM, Bullet Seed. We can immediately teach Bullet Seed to Treak Mill, and the song is off the charts. Now that I've got this item, I'm only allowed to use TMs and HMs for the rest of the run. The first major city of the tour is Rustboro, and here we can collect our first HM of the challenge, Cut. For now, I hold off on teaching Cut since HMs cannot be unlearned at this point in the game. I can take on the first gym leader, Roxanne, but I have a few challenge rules that I need to remember. When I enter the fight, I need to be the same level as the gym leader's ace, which in this case is level 15. Treak Mill takes out Geodude with Bullet Seed, and since he only knows one song, he performs it again, taking out Geodude number two. Nose Pass is a bit sturdier, and lives a Bullet Seed. Nose Pass does some damage back to me, and I need to be careful since I can't use items in battle. However, Treak Mill gets a five hit Bullet Seed, and the crowd goes wild. We receive the first badge, and after each gym victory, we receive another TM. In the Rock Gym, we get the move Rock Tune. Treak Mill evolves into a Grovile, so now I go ahead and teach her Cut, because it's good to have a coverage move. I make my way to Rust Turf Tunnel, where some goons have stolen this man's bird. This is unacceptable. Here in the music industry, we never steal anything. I rescue the bird and meet the CEO of iTunes, who thanks me for my help. Afterwards, I'm on with the CEO of iTunes and he's telling me hashtag I wanna be with you only been on iTunes for one hour and servers is about to shut down. I gave them the okay to add the most powerful servers to handle this. Hashtag suffering from success. I cruise on down to Duford, and in the granite cave, I find the HM Flash. After delivering a contract to Steven, he gives me the TM for Steel Wing. I can take on the second gym now, but instead, I sail over to Slateport City, 
where a sailor in the battle tent gives me the TM for torment. And after defeating Team Aqua with bullet seeds, a grunt gives me the TM for thief. With five TMs and two HMs, I've collected all the moves I can for now. However, none of these moves are strong against Brawly's fighting type Pokemon. In fact, many of them are actively bad. And without super effective moves, Treak Mill can't take on all three of Brawly's Pokemon alone. So, it looks like it's time to sign another artist to the label. However, one of my challenge rules is that I can only catch 10 total Pokemon. So, I need to be very smart about who I sign. I've also banned broken Pokemon like Shedinja and Gyarados. That would be like asking Doja Cat to sign on your independent label. Brawly's Pokemon only know fighting type damaging moves. So if I were to catch a ghost type Pokemon, Brawly would have no way to hit me. Thankfully, there is one ghost Pokemon available at this point in the game. So in the Granite Cave, I find a Sableye and sign Sublime to the label. It's always nice to find a good underground artist. The only attacking moves that Sublime can learn are Thief and Cut. And since dark moves are weak against fighting Pokemon, I teach Sublime Cut. The good news is that Brawly can't hit me at all, but the bad news is that instead, he's forced to use Bulk Up. This move increases the Pokemon's defense, making Cut do less and less damage each turn. Brawly also uses potions, making me knock down Machop's health a second time, with much weaker hits. By the time I knock out Machop, I've used 19 of my 30 Cut PP. I have to play on set mode, so Metatite comes right out. Metatite also has the ability to put up screens, making things extra tricky. Thankfully, critical hits ignore stat buffs, and I finally get one to take out Metatite. Makahita comes out, but I only have three cut PP left. With it also going for bulk up strats, I would be in danger, if I wasn't forward thinking. Sublime is holding a Lepaberry to give it extra PP. You could say that Sublime gets an Encore. I get a second crit here, and then a third, taking out Makahita and getting the second badge as well as the TM for bulk up. I have a really hard rival fight coming up. So I decide to sign another Pokemon now, opting for Poochyena. This Mightyena is a throwback to the Mighty Mighty Boss Tones, but it's a shame that this is a canine instead of a feline, because I would have much rather signed Doja Cat. This is one of the hardest fights in the entire game, and with my level cap having to match Brendan's, this is going to be a rough show. Mightyena has the ability Intimidate, which does make Wingle's flying moves less of a threat, I also used the Thief TM on Boss Tones, and it does a good bit of damage to Wingle. However, Brendan actually switches into Combuskin to eat the Thief. Expecting a fighting move does give me a safe switch to Sublime though, and all I can do is cut, trading critical hits with Combuskin. Sublime is taken out, but Trico is fast enough to outspeed and kill Combuskin. Boss Tones can finish off the weakened Wingle, and Treak Mill can take out the Lombre. The next stop on the tour is Mauville, where I can pick up the HM for Rock Smash. Mauville is also where we find the Game Corner, where there are five TMs available for purchase. Unfortunately, I don't have time to put on my p p p poker face, so I would have to pay out of p p p pocket. The cheapest TM is $30,000, which I'm not even close to, so I'll skip these for now. However, I can pick up the TM for Attract in Verdanturf Town. The third gym leader is Watson, but I can't get any access to ground type TMs at this point in the game. So I need to get creative. I have no ground moves, but I can catch a ground type Pokemon, and that would be Geodude. I sign OK Golem to the label, but I'm not done yet because I also sign Mishtski the Shroomish to the team. You'll see why very soon. Watson has four Pokemon for this fight, and another rule is that my team size must match my opponent, so no Sableye for this gym. OK Golem starts the fight, with its ground type causing an immunity to electric. 
Voltorb kicks things off by locking itself into rollout, which does nothing. I use the TM for Rock Tomb on OK Golem, and it does good damage. Like Mariah Carey, I hit the range on the next hit. Geodude also two hit KOs Electrike. And now Watson sends out Magneton. Because of its steel typing, Rock Tomb is not very effective. So I switch to Mishtski, who I taught the super effective move Rock Smash. Breloom shakes off a paralysis, gets a defense drop with Rock Smash, and dodges a confusion to take out Magneton with no damage taken. Geodude comes back in to deal damage to Manectric, but dies before it can get a KO. Watson heals up, and Mishski can't kill either. But thankfully, Boss Tones uses Thief to steal a victory. Watson forks over the TM for Shockwave, and the badge gives us the ability to use Rock Smash Mouth. Somebody. With this HM, I can reunite these lovers and receive the HM for Strength and break the rocks above Mauville to begin the next leg of the tour. Along the way, I pick up TMs for Secret Power and Double Team, before stopping along the way for a Grammy. I can then get the TMs for Dig and Roar, which must be a cover of the Katy Perry song. I can travel back down to Slateport now, where I can purchase Hidden Power, since I already have the TM for Secret Power. I have another boss fight on the horizon, so to prepare I add another artist to my roster, signing Tom Pelly the Wingle. I can just tell she's ready to get that bread. Maxi has a level cap of 25, which just barely allows me to evolve into Pelipper for this fight. Mishtski can easily take out Mighty Yenna with Rock Smash, before Maxi sends out Camerupt. Tom is a great counter since she can't be hit by ground moves. Although I don't have any water type TMs, I did teach Secret Power to Wingle. And in this rocky area, Secret Power becomes Rock Slide, which can slowly take out Camerupt. OK Golem can Rock Tomb the Zubat, and we finish our concert at Red Rocks. With Maxi taken care of, I turn my attention to the fourth gym leader, Flannery. With just Rock Tomb, OK Golem can take out Numel, Slugma, and Camerupt. However, the real threat of Flannery's team is her Torkoal. Sun Boosted Overheat destroys the special defense weak Graveler. And with no water moves, Tom Pelly goes down as well. Treak Mill and Sublime didn't stand a chance either. For the first time in this challenge, I have to reset the run and try again. This time, I taught Dig to OK Golem, which does way more damage to Torkoal, and allows Tom Pelly to clean up the fight. Flannery hands over the TM for Overheat, and though she may have had the best pyrotechnics, at the end of the day, it's all about the music, baby. In Fall Arbor Town, I can get the TM for Return in return for the Meteorite. With the fourth badge, I can now teach Strength to Mighty Enna, getting the TM for Toxic in the Fiery Path, and the TM for Sandstorm in the middle of one. The tour has back-to-back -back stops, and now I can take on my dad in Petalburg. Spinda only has Normal-type attacking moves, making the Ghost-type Sublime a great option. Rock Smash with Defense Drops are great, but Spinda can still confuse me, and I hit myself in confusion three times in a row. The next time Spinda confuses me, I switch to Boss Tones, and keep switching back and forth until it seems like Spinda has run out of teeter dances. If you go to a concert and your friend won't stop teeter dancing, cut them off and make sure they drink some water. Spinda is now asking for an encore, which I am happy to oblige. Breloom can handle Vigoroth's dark and normal attacks, and Rock Smash does great damage, taking it out in a few hits. Lunoon also can't deal anything but normal type damage, so it gives Sublime some percussion as I play Lunoon off. Then, after taking some damage from Slay King, I can abuse the loafing turns with Dig to be underground every time Slay King attacks allowing OK Golem to bring the house down. We get the TM for Facade, and then get the HM for Surf. As a 95 base power water move that can be taught multiple times, Surf this early is completely broken. So my final rule of the run is to ban Surf from being used in battle. What is this, a Beach Boys concert? 
Now that I can use Surf outside of battle, there are a few TMs that become available. Focus Punch by Meteor Falls, Sludge Bomb in Duford Town, Ice Beam in the Abandoned Ship, and Thunderbolt after I help out Watson in New Mauvel. As I make my way up to Fortree, I pick up the HM for Fly and the TM for Sunny Day. I'm keeping in mind the fact that I've caught six of my 10 allowed Pokemon. And although my artists have been dealing hit after hit, none of them have truly been the superstar I've been looking for. Thinking ahead to Winona, Catching an electric or ice Pokemon could give me the spark I need, but I actually have an artist already on the label who could headline this tour and go from Pelican to Icon. Pelipper has a diverse move pool, so I taught her both Shockwave and Ice Beam. Ice Beam handles both Winona Swablu and Tropius, while Shockwave takes out the opposing Pelipper and Skarmory. This just leaves Winona's Altaria who Tom Pelly obliterates with Ice Beam. Pelipper just guitar soloed that entire fight, giving us the sixth badge and the TM for Aerial Ace. With six badges in tow, I head back to the Trick House, now able to make it through the first five chambers. I feel like my artists are a bit above basement shows, but it's important every now and then. The prize for the fifth puzzle is the TM for Taunt. With that taken care of, I can now head down to Lily Cove City, where many TMs can be found. First, the Rest TM, and then a whopping eight TMs are available at the department store. They're not even that expensive, so I can buy all eight right now. I can also get Giga Drain on Route 123, both Shadow Ball and Skill Swap in Mount Pyre, and Solar Beam in the Safari Zone. My next task is to take on Maxi in the Magma Hideout. Maxi uses the blue orb to make everything blue for him and himself and everybody around cause he ain't got nobody to listen. He's blue, da ba dee da ba die, da ba dee. Maxi's Mighty Yenna only knows normal moves. So I teach Sublime the TM for Focus Punch. Mighty Yenna goes for Swagger, which doesn't break Sublime's focus thanks to a person berry. And Sublime moshes the dog out of the pit. OK Golem takes on Crobat with Rock Tombs. And even without Surf, Tom Pelly can 1v1 camera up with an immunity to Earthquake. It's time for the 7th gym, so I think it's time for me to catch my 7th Pokemon. I know I'll need to use Dive and Waterfall soon, so ideally I'd find a Pokemon to learn those moves, as well as be useful against the upcoming Psychic Gym. Thankfully, the perfect Pokemon exists, and Nirvana the Carvana joins the team, evolving into Sharpedo. The 7th gym is a collab, as I face off against Tate featuring Liza, with Mighty Enna, Sharpedo, Sableye, and Sceptile, but like a 90s kid requesting a song on the radio, I forgot to record it. This made me so very, very sad. So sad that I had to write a song about it. Forgot to record the seventh gym fight. I know that I won You think that I lied It's such a mistake I'm so full of grief I wanted to show you Boston's killing played all solely with Thief Forgot to record The seventh gym fight Getting the badge was such a delight When I realized I cried for days You'll never get to see me stall the zot Too out of confused rays Yeah, it's the I'm a stupid moron Who forgets to check I'm recording blues. 
With my heart on my sleeve and the TM for calm mind in hand, I can now get the HM for dive from Steven and then manipulate Shoal Cave to low tide to grab the TM for hail. With access to dive, I can get the TM for rain dance from the abandoned ship. And access to the seafloor cavern allows me to find the TM for earthquake. I can also take on Aqua Boss Archie, where Nirvana dives Mighty Yenna to death, OK Golem Rock Tombs Crobat as usual, and Sublime uses the Swagger Focus Punch strategy again. Archie, my guy, why do you always have to be so focused on your business? Just sing a sea shanty or something. Calm down. On the back of my diving shark, we reach Sutopolis, where we find Kyogre and Groudon beefing harder than Taylor Swift and Kanye. But after meeting Wallace in the Cave of Origin, we surf down to the Sky Pillar, waking up Rayquaza and asking him to please squash this beef. Rayquaza settles the score, and we find out that one of them's outlook is still sunny while the other is washed up. Wallace gives us the final HM, Waterfall. And we can also find the TM for Brick Break in Sutopolis. I decide it's time to sign another artist. And Coolio the Tentacool joins the team. And this is for two reasons. First, I need to make Coolio hate me by force feeding him awful tasting items. That way, a man in Pacific Log Town will give me the TM for frustration. It seems like my lack of love for him really made him spineless. The second reason I added a Tentacruel to the team is so that it could help me take on Juan, the eighth and final gym leader. But the opener for this fight is Treak Mill, who can Oko Love Disc with its new move Giga Drain. Tom Pelly can outlast the Celio, but the scariest opponent in this fight is Kingdra. I bring in Coolio, and he performs Toxic. The Toxic Stalling can begin. Coolio also knows Protect, a classic Toxic Stalling move. However, However, Kingdra knows Rest, which overwrites the Toxic. Because of this oversight, none of my Pokémon can take out Kingdra, and I wipe to Wan, making me reset for the second time. On the second attempt, I was going to taunt Kingdra with Sublime, but ended up killing it with Treak Mill's Giga Drains, giving us the win and the TM for Water Pulse. Remember all the way back in Mauville, where there were five TMs at the game corner that I couldn't afford? Well, four of them I've already picked up from elsewhere in Hoenn, but there's one TM that can only be found here, the TM for Flamethrower. I spend a full $80,000 to get this TM, which is an absolutely insane price. Who do they think I am, Doja Cat? Now that I have access to Waterfall, I can find the final stretch of TMs, including Iron Tail and Dragon Claw in Meteor Falls, and Psychic in Victory Road. This brings the total up to 49 TMs. So we seem to be missing one. Well, the final TM isn't accessible until after we take on the Pokemon League. We've finally made it to the end, and my team of artists have grown a lot. They've released some hits, released some duds, and turned into superstars. Now they must take on the final challenge, a full stadium tour. But like any good stadium tour, we can invite some smaller acts to open for us. So I catch my ninth Pokemon, Fish the Chinchow, who turns into a lantern. Fish, along with Mishtski the Breloom, Tom Pelly the Pelipper, Coolio the Tentacruel, Treak Mill the Sceptile, and Sublime the Sableye are ready to take on the Emerald Elite Four. Sydney specializes in dark type Pokemon, making him the emo boy of the Elite Four. His Mightyena tries to intimidate my Mushroom, but thanks to the White Herb, I don't lose any stats. This is important, because at full attack, Mishtski's Brick Break can deal a one-hit wonder to each of Sydney's Pokemon. Just like an EP, it only takes five bangers, and Sydney is defeated. Unlike Sydney, Phoebe is actually going to give me some treble. With a dual dark typing, Sublime should be okay for this fight. By taunting Dusclops, I prevent him from confusing me, allowing me to two-hit KO with Shadow Ball, and no threat of confusion. I do the same thing to Banette to prevent a Will-O-Wisp. 
Also getting a two-hit KO here. Sableye has a chance for another one, but like Fergie, I can't hit the range. And Sublime is down to low health when he takes out Sableye. The second bayonet outspeeds and kills Sublime. So it's time to show off new artist Fish, who can two-hit KO bayonet with Waterfall. Because I could buy a second Ice Beam TM in Mauville, Coolio can take out the Dusclops. And Phoebe sounds more like Phoebe Flat. Glacia is third, and our opening act begins with a Thunderbolt. This can't kill, but I'm not expecting it to, because I'm waiting for Celio to put up hail, so I can use Rain Dance. Since I outspeed Celio, I can now use Thunder, guaranteeing the hit and the Oko. Fish can also 1v1 Glalie, and 2 hit KO with Thunder. It can play the same song again and again. Although Thunder can't kill Walrein, a full paralysis allows me to safely 2 hit KO. Fish went completely sicko mode there. Similar to Winona, Drake has many flying Pokemon, so we start with Tom Pelly. Ice Beam barely misses the range, and a Rock Tomb decreases my speed. After Drake heals up, I hit the range on the second try, but a slow guitar solo isn't very fun. The speed drop causes Pelly to take a rough Rock Slide before taking out the Salamence. To reset the speed, I switch to Coolio, who one-shots Altaria. Flygon is also four times weak to ice. Finally, Drake has a Kingdra too, but this one doesn't know rest, so I can successfully Toxic Stall it, giving me the redemption arc I crave so desperately. It's finally time to take on the champion Wallace. Fish can take on Waylord, but has to do it with Thunderbolts, since setting up rain could help Waylord. Thunderbolt is a two-hit KO though, it's great that Gyarados comes out next. Oh, except for the fact that I'm slower and die to Earthquake. Whoops. Thankfully, Tom Pelly still knows Shockwave and can get revenge for Fish. Tom Pelly does some damage to Tentacruel before falling. And then Treak Mill remembers her roots with Giga Drain before Coolio finishes the task. I sacrifice Coolio for a safe switch back to Treak Mill, who one-hit KOs with a Giga Drain. Milotic takes out Treak Mill and Sublime before Mishtski knocks out Milotic, although with barely any health left. Return will be a two-hit KO, and thankfully Ludicolo goes for double team, so I just need to hit return here. Thankfully, I do, and by the slimmest of margins, my team has reached the top of the charts as registered by the Guinness Book of World Records. I now have all the fame and fortune I could ever want, but my journey isn't quite over yet. I board the SS title and collect the final TM available, Snatch. I now have all 50 TMs, but I still feel a bit empty inside. What would bring me more joy than anything? I know. Join my label, Doja Cat. Thank you so much for watching this challenge run. If you enjoyed it, check out one of the other videos on screen now. Also, true rock stars would like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.